grade 4, SLM 21, week 8 for the second quarter, reading and writing decimal numbers through hundreds. So before this lesson, always remember the place value of decimal numbers. We have the first one, which is the tenths, the next is the hundreds, and the thousands. Always remember that all the numbers after the decimal point are considered as decimal numbers. And the numbers before the decimal numbers are called the whole numbers. So we are going to read it as ones, tens, hundreds. But we are going to include only the ones for this lesson. Again, we have ones before the decimal point. And then after the decimal point, we have tenths, hundreds, and thousands. Also, please take note of the correct spelling of the following place value. So, if we are going to read the following decimal numbers, we are going to read the whole number as it is. For example, the first one, we have 1. So, we are going to read it as 1. And then the second one, we also have 1. So, that is also read as 1. For these examples, we have 0 in the 1's place. So, we are not going to include it while we are reading the decimal numbers. So, we are not going to read it as 0. Okay? So, we are going to read only the decimal numbers so next after the whole number or the place value or the number before the decimal point we have the decimal point itself so we are going to read it as and okay so this decimal point will be read as and after the decimal point we have the decimal numbers the first decimal number is in the tenths place okay so we are going to read it as the number and then its place value for example for this one again we have one and five and then its place value which is tenths again one and five tenths so if you are going to read it or write it it is one and five tenths for the second one we have the whole number one the decimal point is read as and. And then the first decimal number is 6. So the place value of it is tenths. So we are going to read it as 1 and 6 tenths. Next, we have here 0 in the 1's place or in the whole number. So we are not going to read it. Remember, we do not read 0 uh, zero given as a given number. So we are going to read the first number that has a value or which is greater than one. So since the decimal number on the tenths place is also zero, we are not going to include it while reading and writing it. So we are going to move on to the next place value, which is the hundredths. So in the hundredths place, we have the digit three. So, we are going to read it as three hundredths since it is on the hundredths place. Again, this is read as three hundredths. For the last one, we have again zero on the ones place. So, we are not going to include it while reading and writing decimal numbers. Instead, we are going to move on to the next place value which is the tenths place. So, we have here on the tenths place the digit 6. But if we are going to look to the next place value, we have the hundredths place and we have here the digit 3. So, in reading decimal numbers, we are going to use only the last place value, which is hundredths. We are not going to include tenths place or tenths in reading and writing decimal numbers. Instead, we are going to use the last one, which is the hundredths. So if you are going to read this or write this as a decimal number, this is read as 63 and then the place value of the last digit, which is hundreds. Again, 63, and then the place value of the last digit, which is hundreds. 63 hundreds.